Hello, welcome everyone to the August 19th edition of NXT. I am your host, Sean Jackson. And yeah, it's been a while since I reviewed NXT. Kevin Owens has lost the NXT title. And as you all know, that Finn Balor has won it in an amazing match. So this is the go home show until NXT TakeOver in Brooklyn. So let's get underway with this entire thing. The show opens up with the NXT Women's Championship, excuse me, contract signing. Now, this is really good because like, honestly, I love seeing stuff like that because main roster WWE doesn't do this. They don't do women's championship contract signings. Like, I have, well, if they, even if they do, I, I haven't seen it. You know, I, it's just, it is amazing to see how important the women are down in NXT rather than on main roster. Now this was good because uh, Bailey and Sasha had you know a war of words, but Sasha was saying that Bailey is not even worth her time. You know she's not a threat or anything like that, and, and Bailey just attacks her after uh, after like trying to actually fight her because she's like I know how these contract signings go. Uh, I want to fight you like how Charlotte and Becky fought you. I want to fight you, and then Sasha's like no, this that's pointless. So Sasha leaves, but they, uh, you know, they fight outside on the the ring entrance. Oh, not the ring entrance, like the the entrance ramp, and it was amazing. Like you could just see Bailey, just like you know how her, her like she has like this very bubbly, like huggable side, and then you just see the rage come out of her. Like she is more of a demon than uh, than Finn Balor. She's more of a beast than Brock Lesnar. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, next up, we get uh, Tyler Breeze going up against a jobber, and, and it's just setting up uh, Tyler Breeze's match against legend Jushin Thunder Liger. Now he brings out a brings out a, a, li a Thunder Liger mask, and he he defeats his opponent, and then puts the mask on his opponent, and then gives him a you know like his uh, finisher the the beauty shot. Uh, and he just says like this is what's gonna happen at on Saturday, and it, it's just like the the coolest thing like Tyler Breeze is just incredibly charismatic. Honestly, to me personally, like Tyler Breeze is on the same level of uh, of Chris Jericho when it comes to like his wrestling ability and his charisma and all of that. Like honestly, I, but I fear the day uh, when Tyler Breeze gets called up to the main roster because he's just gonna become another Adam Rose despite his insane talent. And then our next match is uh, an eight-man tag team match. And it's not as bad as you think. It's actually really good. Uh, like, really good just for, a, like, a, a, a match with known guys versus jobbers. We got the Hype Bros, uh, Mojo Rawley and Zack Ryder. And Enzo and Cass going up against just four jobbers. And it was still really good. Like, you know, it's just the, the, the four guys' uh, personalities really, like, made this match better. And even the jobbers actually kind of has some offense going because, you know, you can't have it just like a one-sided match. So it, it was still good. But uh, it was just setting up their uh, their match, uh, like, you know, a, an eight-man tag team match at, uh, at, you know, TakeOver. That's happening Saturday. So, I mean, it, it did an okay job with setting it up, but mm, it, it was just whatever. Honestly, I... I don't exactly care for this match, but the fact that my boys Enzo and Cass are in it, I actually like. I'm st I'm still gonna watch it. But yeah, the next match is Samoa Joe versus a Jobber. But obviously, uh, after Samoa Joe puts him in the fucking rear naked choke and makes the guy tap out, Baron Corbin comes out and of course, boom, he hits the end of days on Samoa Joe, setting up their match for Takeover. And we get Blake and Murphy versus Angelo Dawkins and Sawyer Fulton uh, again like an okay match uh it's just again it's setting up uh the match that blake and murphy are gonna have against the vaude villains so really it's just all of this is just like set up at the setup at the setup but the best setup is uh the nxt championship match that they're uh, they're hyping up honestly it's really really good like you know kevin comes out and he's on a ladder <laughs> like you know because of course they're having a ladder match and he and insanely uh you know no not insanely uh but but incredibly you know kevin is amazing on the mic like he has an incredible ability to just make everyone just like 
quiet and listen but even though there's like booze and cheers but he speaks the truth about a lot of things because he just called the nxt crowd the john cena fan like the john cena of wrestling fans because they're hypocrites he said they they will like week in week out they will chant for him unless he's attacking Sami Zayn. If someone mentions John Cena, they boo. But if he talks about beating him, they cheer. It's it's weird and ironic, you know. It's, it's it, like so he just starts uh, like trash talking the the crowd, trash talking Finn Balor, and Finn Balor's uh, entrance music hits, and it's this demon demon entrance music. And he just appears on the turnbuckle, just sitting there, just angry. And I'm like, what the... F like, it's the coolest thing. And then they, they start brawling. And Finn Balor, after the brawls, like, Finn Balor, uh, like, says to him that he's gonna beat him for the title and kick his ass and shut his mouth. And I'm like, okay, Finn Balor is, like, again, tr trash-talking kevin but it's still really good setup i cannot wait for this match the main event of nxt is going to be amazing uh just two of the most talented guys that wwe has like you know uh, down in nxt hell the, the two most talented guys that wwe has overall uh in a ladder match this is gonna be the best thing it's like you're watching nxt take over brooklyn and uh, you're going to see how amazing that is, especially uh, the women's match. The women's match is going to blow the whole roof off like every women's match that NXT has ever had at a takeover. So that's going to blow the roof off of the of the house. Like, it's going to just tear it up. And then the next day, you're going to watch SummerSlam and just be utterly disappointed. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, honestly, I, I thought this was a really... Uh, it, it was a good episode of NXT. It, like, it wasn't the best, it wasn't the worst, honestly, it was just like setting up for NXT TakeOver Brooklyn and it did a great job of setting it up. Now, uh, the only thing is, uh, it actually kind of made me care about the, the tag matches. Well, like, honestly, I, I, I love the Vaughn villains, but you know, I, and I really want them to take the, the titles off of, uh, exactly, I already, I already forgot their names, <laughs> um, Blake and Murphy, I, I want them to take the titles off of them, honestly, I want Enzo and Cass to have the titles, but obviously, I can tell that they're not ready for the titles yet, but still, I want them to have the titles, but anyway, um, so yeah, what would you guys think, the people that actually seen NXT, what do you guys think about this edition of NXT, and, uh, tell me, which match are you most hyped about that's happening at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn? Because I'm most hyped about the Bailey Sasha Banks match. Because I like my girl Bailey is going to be NXT, NXT Women's Champion. Oh man! After what Sasha Banks said, the, like she said, the reason why I'm on Raw and SmackDown is because I'm the best. And there's a reason why I'm there and you're not. And I'm like, geez, that's 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 harsh. So I want Bailey to come out on top. Because to me, Bailey is the female version of Sami Zayn. You know, both are like insanely over baby faces and uh, they're they're both underdogs. That's what I love about those those two wrestlers. I mean and, and they're also incredibly talented. That's what that's why I cheer for them every single time I see them wrestle. Like every single time. So that's the match I'm most hyped about. So yeah. I want you guys to all watch this edition of NXT. I want you guys to watch NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. And also, have a great day.